Hi folks, Stevie here at Boss Trailers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2019 Venture RV Sonic 190 VRB. Awesome little floor plan, it's a couple's floor plan. Uh, 22 foot 10 inch overall length folks, and that's including the top, so it's a very small trailer. 7.5 foot wide, it weighs 3,840 pounds. And the one we're going to take a look at is in the granite color, it's a new color for 2019. But you may see this video on a trailer that would be in the lava color, so just make sure you do uh, take a moment and read up the write-up on, on our web page. Okay, so lots of very interesting features. Sonic uh, built with a one-piece fiberglass roof from the front right here all the way to the back. It bows lengthwise and there is no seam going across the front, no seam going across the back, no seams, no corner, no corner, 90% less chances of water infiltration. Great way of manufacturing it. Also, they build uh, the flooring system just like your house. Floor truss, 16 inch on center, and it's decked with 5.8 tongue and groove plywood. The best way of manufacturing a trailer floor. Okay? They are loaded with features, so let's not waste any time and uh, let's take a look at some of those. At the front, standard electric tongue jacks. It's got LED lights as well. In the back here, new this year, battery disconnect. So when you're parking your trailer for a little while, you can just turn that switch off and nothing will drain your battery. Nice little stone guard. Coming around this side. In the compartment we have a motion detector light on the pass-through storage here. Slam latch handles for the handle and a magnetic holder as well. All marker lights including the tail lights are LED. Four scissor jacks. Electric awning with LED lights on the roller tube. New this year, a different types of step. It's called the solid step. It's very nice. It actually sits inside the trailer. So when you open the door, all you need to do is grab the handle and bring it down. It's fully adjustable, so if the ground's not even, that's no big deal at all. Also, right behind it, there's a blue LED light, so at night, uh, you get to see where you're stepping on. Foldable entry handle, very nice. Also new this year, Venture got some bottle opener dog tie-down uh, design in their logo. There's a patio light on the top. Outside speakers as well. Nitro field radial tires on aluminum wheels. And the axle have been set apart a little bit, not too too much, but just a little bit to give you extra stability on the road. New this year a fender as well. If we look underneath, we can see that uh, our low point drain as well as our freshwater uh, tank drain are made with steel valves. That's actually pretty rare in the industry. Most of the manufacturer will put a little plastic cap, so it's nice that Venture is stepping up their game on that one. Right here in the back as well, we have a gas quick connect, so that's connected to the propane tanks at the front. You can connect the barbecue if you want. Back here, spare tire and cover. On the top, we have a mount for installing a backup camera if you want. That's already installed. It's just a question of a five-minute job. Solar panel ready as well. You bring a portable solar panel, plug it in, it will charge your battery at the, at the front or it will keep it uh, topped up. Cable satellite ready. On this side we have our gas electric water heater. It's DSI, so you turn them on from the inside. Fresh water connection. Black tank flush to help you clean your black tank. Outside shower with hot and cold. Uh, your sewer valve right here at the right spot in the back. The handles are color coded, so black handle for your black tank and gray handle for your gray tank. A detachable power cord, it's all sealed so the critters cannot get into your trailer from the power cord. And another very nice feature, a range hood from the inside is actually vented outside, so it's not just recirculating the, um, the air inside, it's coming right out. So folks, let's take a look inside. So the 190 VRB comes in two configuration. It's the same trailer. There is an option for a Murphy bed and this is what this one has. When you have the Murphy bed, you gain a sofa, which is extremely rare to get a sofa and a dinette in a trailer that will be less than 23 feet overall length. So it is a kind of a nice feature. Nine out of 10, that's all they sell. So this is all we got this one in. 
Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate to see it's extremely quick it's uh, also very good so you just have to uh, fold flat your sofa unlatch the bed base unfold same with your mattress your blanket can stay on your pillows can stay on super comfortable it's a memory foam zero complaints from the customers it's a uh, They've been making this Murphy bed for three years now and it's been extremely popular and people say they, they sleep super well. Now while we got it down, let's take a look at some of those features. There's a designer headboard with a little bit of storage. And one feature that I'm really, really liking is they cut that shirt closet, the back of it, they left it open. So there's a place for a glass of water, your reading glasses, your book or your CPAC machine. There's a power outlet on this side and there's a USB outlet on the other side. It's normally a waste of space. But also one of the features that I really like is that you're not sleeping against the wall. When your head is over here, you don't feel that you're right against the wall. Also, the shirt closet has been installed first. So we got more height to the shirt closet and there's a real bar inside. Now folks, you do not need to make your bed every day. If you're in and out of the trailer, and you're going to play golf for the day, you can leave your bed made like this. But the day you're going camping and it's raining all day and you want to watch a movie, you can put this away. It literally takes five seconds. All you need to do, fold, fold. You can leave your blanket. You can leave your pillows exactly where they are. Latch it up and put the sofa up. Now, you're not losing any storage because there's just as much storage underneath the sofa as there is underneath the bed. All of our window comes with pleated shades. Very nice. Now, one extra feature I forgot to mention. They even added a power outlet on each side of the bed at the front. Pleated shades on all the windows. On this side is your booth. This is your space outside. This is your patio space. So you are looking out the window to your space, not your neighbor. Very nice, I really like that. Above we have a little bit of storage, but at the end of the storage, we have a place to charge your phone. There's a USB outlet as well as a power outlet. At the other end, we have a Ram FM CD DVD Bluetooth USB auxiliary stereo, and it comes with a 24 inch TV. It is an option, we put it on that little one. There's a mount behind so you can actually move it forward if you want. There is storage underneath both benches. Now across from the bench, we have our outside kitchen, double sink with sink cover, made in the same thermal foil, seamless counter. Uh, two burner stove with a glass flush mount top, little backsplash, a range hood again vented outside. There's no gas oven in this one, so it is all storage for your pots and pans, but you still get an oven. It's a convection microwave, so it does both. It will cook a, a chicken and it will warm up your leftover from the night before. Storage above the sink is plenty for pretty much all the dishes you may need. Your drawers, plywood made, ball bearing hardware. The whole drawer stands out, so you're not like a lot of those for an auto manufacturer, which is a pain you can't really get to the back of it. In uh, your water pumps right there, but more importantly, we get to see there is an extra hose here. That's your winterizing conversion kit. So when it's time to winterize, all you need to do is to put that pipe into your jug of antifreeze, spring the valve on, turn the pump on, and you're in business. We have a seven cubic feet fridge. It's bigger than the six. Stainless steel front. Towards the back. A very large bathroom for such a little trailer. Radio shower. I love it. The door stays in the shower. So when you're done, you're not opening the door where the water is going to run on the floor. It will stay in the shower. There's a skylight. There's plenty of ice. I'm 5'8". There's plenty of ice left. Foot flush porcelain toilet. There is a linen closet. A little shelf. Two lights. A power fan a medicine cabinet and plenty of counter to leave your shaving kit on the counter. Your monitor panel for 
and your water as well as your battery status, your water pump as well as your water heater on gas and electric, storage below, a little panel, two screws, you remove that, you got the back of your water heater to, to switch the valves for the winter, and a very nice extra closet with again a real bar. So you want to bring some extra clothes, it's not going to be an issue, so you're just not relying on those two little guys at the front, there's an extra one in here. Folks, 22 foot, 10 inch, 3840, an incredible little trailer, we have sold pal of those this year, I think it's been our best seller floor plan really. Uh, I missed a few features and options, so please take the time to do the little read up on our website, you'll see uh, a lot more things that I missed. Folks, I think we did it, thanks for watching.